I was going to change this differential flange on the front diff of um, my Land Rover. This came out of a 1995 Discovery. It's the square style flange. Uh, when you take these off, there's a little spacer ring behind it. And they have this style mud shield. It's kind of a flat one that sits in front of the diff. Um, and I'll get into the truck and show what I mean by that. Uh, this is another diff flange. Apparently all these are supposed to be interchangeable. This is um, the diff flange that I purchased to replace it. It's the round style, uh, which is supposed to fit all the Land Rover diffs. Um, and if you can kind of see this height, so the height is intended to be the same with no spacer though, so it's just one piece. The issue I had was these style mud you know, shields are supposed to slide into the differential themselves. So I'll get under the truck and I'll show that. This one's actually hitting the face of the, the diff housing itself. So I purchased another set. Um, and just so for reference, the correct part number for this diff flange is supposed to be SCC 4858. So I purchased another one and I was curious because I thought, you know, maybe I was just going to get the exact same one. And these, these two pieces have the same part number. Um, you know, they're both aftermarket parts. So there's a little bit of uh, making sure you're getting the right piece. But this new one I received has a smaller diameter mud shield, um, which should slide inside you know, the hole where the seal goes for the pinion seal, whereas this one was hitting the outside. So I'll kind of show these three different pieces underneath the truck and kind of the scenario and how they all fit. All right, under the truck now. So I'm just gonna throw the spacer ring on there for the original pinion flange, and then put the flange on. And if you can see, there's just ever so slightly a gap between the housing in this mud shield. So that works, no rubbing, there's clearance. All right, so that was the original diff flange. The, this, the re first replacement flange I got had this black mud shield on it. If I slide that in, I wasn't able to tighten the nut. I started to tighten the nut on the pinion, but it was already rubbing on the diff housing here. So if I tighten that down, th there was some you know friction basically on that mud shield. So I don't know if some of the Land Rover diffs have a slightly larger ID for that seal, but this is you know this I'm using the seal that came with this replacement flange. Here is the second replacement flange I got, which is intended to be the same part number as that other replacement flange and the mud shield fits inside. So it actually is inset inside there, which should work. So just a caution to everybody that if you're replacing your diff flange, um, especially in North America where a lot of the trucks have these square style flanges with one of these round flanges, just be careful because some of them apparently have the wrong size dust shield and just something to look out for. Just want to make sure you don't want to crank that thing tight and you get a bunch of friction and you know heating things up. Um, this one I purchased from Atlantic British. I don't even remember where I got the first one from. Um, and you know, at one time I was thinking about taking this mud shield off the original one and swapping it over to this, but I ended up just ordering another one and lucked out that it is the correct flange. So. We're going to give that a shot.